Hey y'all, um, good morning. Is it still morning? No, it's kind of early afternoon, but it's a new day. I have two vlogs, my first two vlogs basically edited. I think, you know, they are what they are. I um, am really, really excited about that. But what I wanted to show you, the curtains closed because um, I took the AC when it ends. But look at guys, we have so much more light. Look. I think I'm gonna rotate them though. They seem like they're tilting towards the sun. I want them to go straight. This, I don't know, I think I may have messed this one up, but we'll see. Other than that, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. And um, now I am actually on my way to, um, what did she say this place is called? Kimball, Kimball Farm or something? Some, I don't know, some farm. <laughs> and get ice cream with my friend and her fan, her daughter. Um, and that's about it. Hopefully I'll be sure to get some, hopefully I'll be able to get some footage for you. And um, for you. Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage for you. And that's it. What else did I want to say to you? I feel like I want to tell you about my day yesterday, but maybe we'll talk about that later. Okay, bye. Um, I don't think, oops, hey. I don't think I'm gonna take my phone, my camera anymore, because I feel like it'll be like just a lot. Um, so I'm going to probably try to record some things on my phone. We will see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. Oh, I think I should be facing this way though a little bit because I put the, I put the lights off. Can you see me better like this? I don't know. But anyhow, quality might change a little bit because I will be um, doing a little bit of recording on my phone. And then, um, oh, I got my Shein package. I picked it up yesterday at my mom's house, so I will be opening that with you guys when I get back home later on. Um, that's it. Alright, talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys. So, um, what am I saying? No, cut. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? It is Sunday. Today is Sunday, um, what's the date? July 9th, I think. 8th or 9th? No, it gotta be the 9th. I think it's the 9th. Where's my phone? Yeah. Today is July 9th. It is July 9th and all day I'm just telling myself, yeah, 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 pick up the camera. You're gonna pick up the camera. I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna be productive. I'm gonna be so productive. What did I do? I sat down talking about, oh, well, I need some motivation. I turned on one of Gina's vlogs, most recent vlog, her um, solo trip to Mexico again. Talking about thinking, telling myself that I'm being inspired by her. Oh my god, I don't think I like and I'm looking at the thing. I don't want to be looking at you. And I don't think I like how my face looks on camera just yet with my hair. Like that. All up. <laughs> so let me put it down. Anyways, so Gina's vlog just finished, and what did I tell myself? I'm like, oh, uh, I'm obsessed with watching the girls. And <laughs> What did I do? I turned on, I'm thinking to myself, well, number one, where the hell is Peyton? She hasn't posted in like over a week, I think. And then um, Sunday just posted the video and I turned on her video. I'm like, no, Daphne, if you want to be one of the girls, you have to pick up the camera and talk and do the things, you know? So here I am. What I want to do though, um, I want to show you guys a couple of things. Number one, I got, well, I want to show you the, my address and everything. But I got a package from Shein. I made an order the, an order the other day. And um, we are going to do a little bit of a haul. Let's open up this. I don't have the lighting. The lighting is a little bit here. How should I do this? Well, I need to start this through. Hmm. This is good lighting, so I think I need to sit. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do, y'all? How am I gonna do this? I think I'm gonna sit you up here. 
and we are gonna do our first haul together so really the point of this channel other than me just kind of growing um, on social media as a whole um, my channel is really about growth right growth and um, becoming your best version of yourself and in doing that I really think money is the key financial independence is the key to kind of becoming who you want to be in this world so um yeah i don't know if i'm saying it right but that's really what this channel is about so i'm going to be posting some other things like um like my sit down videos are going to be a little bit more about like financial independence and kind of um growing financially and everything I think this is a little bit low. I wish you were a little bit higher. Do I have anything I can put you to sit on? I don't want to lose that book. That'll be a lot of work. Um, ooh, maybe this. Let's see. If I put you up here like this. Yes, I like this much, much better. Do you like this? I like it. I wish this would go a little bit higher. I didn't get more tripods and whatnot. We're going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out. Oh, see the light. You know what I should do? Oh, what am I doing? I have this for... Oh, but the camera doesn't fit in that tripod. So, hmm. God, this is a little bit of a predicament here. I mean, I don't have the real, the right equipment exactly to do this whole thing. But I'm going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out together. Keep on looking at the mirror because the mirror is up. So I'm gonna put you down now, and I'm gonna look at you. So, um, what should I do here? We're gonna talk like this. I'm gonna put the mirror up just for a second so I can see what the background looks like. Do I like it? Uh oh, put this down. whatever I guess I need first order of businesses buy better like lighting setups and everything so we could get it together one moment hella high water y'all we're gonna figure this out i am gonna figure out how to transform my life again i feel like i want to talk to you guys about it well as we get to know each other i guess we will talk about that kind of thing a little bit more i don't know how i like that lighting no i think i like the other one actually yeah so as we kind of get to know each other a little bit more i mean you guys a little bit know but a little bit more about my story whatever but um i am really on a journey right now of um i guess like jerky and i see it was talking about transition um i okay i need to stop looking at this i am in a space right now of transition i think in my life so, um, when I was about 26 or so, I think, I started to take my, um, I realized, I don't know how, how honest I want to be here, but I realized a couple of things, um, that I wasn't how should I say this? I realized that I was going to be, I realized that I needed to take my finances a lot more serious if I wanted to really live the lifestyle that I um, thought at the time I dream of. I think I still have the same thoughts of like how I want to live my life. I really found myself when I was like in my 20s um, comparing myself to older people a lot 
Like if I were to meet somebody, maybe a teacher or somebody in my church or um, I don't know, even people in my family, people that are much older than me, I would kind of look at them like, okay, do I want to be like you? <laughs> Who do I want to be like when I am your age, right? What kind of lifestyle do I want to live when I'm your age? Do you see, if you look around, you see so many people like, for instance, like maybe like 45 or maybe 50 or something like that, and you kind of see different ranges of lifestyles within that age range. And I, and I felt like in my mind, I was kind of deciding when I was like in my mid twenties, um, who I wanted to live like, right? And mentally I decided that I wanted to be one of the kind of wealthy, the people that have some sort of um, high income level. But I did, at the time I didn't understand how to do it, but I just knew that I needed to find, for me to be able to travel and not work so hard until I'm like, 60 or 70 or whatever and like retire and God willing you make it to retirement age before you die or something um, I don't know it's hard for me to say it like in words but basically what I'm saying is that when I was like 26 27 I decided to take my financial life really really serious and I stumbled on um, Gordon Ramsay who was talking about this some kind of like snowball effect to kind of um, repairing your credit. At the time I had like some credit card debt because like a credit card, what was it? Credit One sent me a card when I was like 18 years old. I thought I was like the shit. <laughs> I got my card and I um, racked up some like a couple thousand charges or whatever and like here I am in my mid 20s and I still had those kind of um, charges lingering on my credit. So I went and I um, started to apply what Gordon Ramsay was talking about in, in respect to um, paying off debt and kind of cleaning up your finances so that you can have some sort of independence or like the start of kind of gaining independence. I started doing that. Um, then a friend, a good friend of mine at the time um, introduced me to annualcreditreport.com. I went onto that site and I um, basically started applying Gordon Ramsay's technique to um, everything that was on my credit report. Eventually my credit got to a decent number. Um, I forget what it was, but it was low. It was really bad <laughs> at the time. But anyhow, um, when I was like 28, 29, I got an apartment. Um, I got myself a nice little two bedroom apartment. It was like really one and a half bedroom, but they listed it as two bedroom, whatever. It was a beautiful apartment. If I could find the footage still, I might insert like a little thing. I remember doing a tour um, with some friends that I had at the time, and uh, I might have that footage somewhere. If I can, I'll insert it, but I love that apartment. Six months into me having that apartment, I met uh, who I thought was the love of my life, and um, he convinced me to move back home so that we could build a life together. And he was saying all the right things. And yes, we're going to buy the house. We're going to do this. We're going to get married. It's going to be great. Um, yeah, so none of that happened. Um, I think a year into our relationship, I realized that none of that was happening. So I was even... Um, I had dug myself in a little bit of a debt, like I kind of messed up my credit that was doing decent at the time. Um, I'll go, I don't know if I'll ever go into details about how I did that, but anyways, messed up my credit. A year into it, I decided that he was not really on what I was on, so I started cleaning up myself again, cleaning up my credit, um, cleaning up my money, getting control of my finances and everything. Um, at, the th at the time, I think I finally was able to open up a couple credit cards, which really helped me. Um, so I actually still have maybe two of those cards, I think three. I, at the time, I opened up three credit cards, and I was really proud of myself because that was a big accomplishment for me to be able to open up credit cards. Um, and I still have some of them anyways. Um, what was I saying? Where was I? I don't know. I forget where I was. Where was I, guys? <laughs> um, anyways, I guess, um, yeah, so I was midway through our relationship and I decided that I was just going to go and buy the house myself. I already had my real estate license. I got my real estate license a really long time ago. I don't remember when, when I was like also in my mid-20s. 
um, real estate is something that I am um, obsessed with, <laughs> like literally obsessed with. Um, I've always been obsessed with real estate and it's just been something that's always interests me. Um, so I took it serious, I got my finances together, then I found out, I mean, I'll, maybe I'll make another video about like real details about how I actually got approved and got the money to, um, for my down payment and all that stuff. Um, anyways, I ended up buying a two family home, um, two years into the relationship with that guy. Um, a couple months later we broke up. <sighs> Um, and now in, I am currently in the unit I spent, uh, 2019, right before COVID, I bought this house. Um, I spent a good amount of first COVID renovating the first unit. We currently have a tenant in it right now. Um, I think I was telling you guys a little bit about her earlier. Um, so I, then I renovated this unit. I had some tenants in this unit. Um, I successfully was able to put them out thankfully without too much headache I mean a little bit of drama but they could have made it really like a big 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 problem for me thankfully they didn't um, I renovated this unit and now I'm currently here um, so in the midst though I've been here for about over a little bit over a year now um, I kept on telling myself to pick up the camera pick up the camera pick up the camera pick up the camera Starting a YouTube channel has been something that I really want to do for a very, very long time. Even the camera that you're on right now, I bought this like how many years ago? It got to be like maybe five, at least maybe five years ago. I think I said four, four or five years ago, I think. Um, and just now I'm just starting to take it serious. Anyhow, um, what I am, I'm saying all that to say that this channel is really about to be about me um, fixing my credit again, taking you on the journey with me and giving you tips and tricks and um, I guess the resources that I'm using to kind of improve myself financially so that I could get to a different level in life. I believe that um, real estate is the number one um, key or ticket or whatever you want to call it to gaining financial freedom and to kind of being becoming, um, I guess, elevating to a different tax bracket-ish or just having a better lifestyle, you know what I mean? Um, living good, and um, I should probably turn these lights on. Does that help? Sorry, I'm just not thinking about that. Anyways, um, so that's really what this channel is about. I am going to be vlogging to kind of document, because I really enjoy vlogs, number one. Um, I enjoy watching the girls as I keep on telling you guys I really 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 enjoy watching the girls I don't even watch television like regular television. I just watch YouTube and Peacock um, You know for my housewives and the Bravo girls and um, I have a little bit of own on my phone. I don't have it on my television I don't know why I need to figure out how to fix that um, So I could watch the Huntsville girls with Carlos King honey <laughs> And all those girls and what he got going on there. I love his shows and um yeah so so that's what we're doing here guys we are in a season of transformation of elevation of stepping up to the next level um i think i was touching on just a second ago about how real estate is definitely the number one tool to um changing your life um i think that i have a kind of tick that off. Um, I started nursing school. That's why I need to add in here. I started nursing school um, because like I was basically bullshitting with the whole idea of like really turning on this camera and talking to this camera. Um, I tried to go and buy a second home and the bank essentially, essentially they approved me for like a really, really low value that like basically, you know, after COVID and everything, the market went crazy and I wouldn't be able to find anything decent in that price. I think they approved me for like three... I don't know three something and to three something I want to buy another another uh, multi-family my goal is to buy at least four multi-family homes for me to think in my mind um, as of right now I feel like four multi-family homes should be enough to kind of um, sustain me financially um, with them kind of renovating like kind of um, you know bringing in at least two thousand dollars each I think that'll be enough money and having a job that's my idea in my head 
Um, so I started after I got basically after I got that pre-approval from the bank, I went. I decided that basically um, that wasn't going to cut it. Basically, my debt to income became an issue. Um, I'm just the medical secretary at the moment. Um, I do enjoy the kind of work that I do, um, but I just feel that I am in. I need to, for a while now, I felt that I need to elevate, again, for me to live the lifestyle that I really want to live. I don't want to be that girl that is constantly working, living paycheck to paycheck. That is trash. <laughs> so that's not what we're doing here. That's not what the community we're growing here. That's not what we're doing, okay? So if you're one of those girls that want to live paycheck to paycheck and really depend on the check, go, go to... Go to a different channel. This is not the channel for you. No, this is about the girls that want to um, uh, live free. You know what I mean? Um, have some money coming in. Yes, maybe work a nine to five if you so desire to. Do you know what I mean? But not be a slave to it. That's the thing. You don't want to be a slave to having to clock in and clock out. Um, so anyhow, one thing led to another. I enrolled in nursing school. Maybe we'll talk about that story a little bit later on, how that happened. Um, so I'm currently in nursing school because that I feel that I understand the medical system a little bit because of um, the amount of time that I've been working in the medical industry. Um, so, and I know that making that good money, I'll make decent money and I'll be able to buy another house. Um, in addition to real estate being the number one tool um, as an asset, a financial asset, meaning something you can make money through over a night, like while you sleep, right? Um, I think YouTube is also, or online presence and online kind of persona um, is also um, a vehicle that nobody's talking about. I think it should be um, kind of putting the books as mandatory, you know what I mean? Real estate, some sort of online monetization, I guess you could say. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe if you want to talk to the girls about the stocks or whatever. I guess the, the real wealthy people, though, I think the next one after that would be um, art. I don't know nothing about that yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Hopefully with your help, I'll get there. And then we did it. Then I'll teach you what I learned about um, that level of wealth. But we are definitely not there, honey. Anyhow, um, that was a lot of rambling. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so I really want to do my little sheet in haul. Let me show you guys what I got. My she in haul, I'm gonna put the little mirror up so that I could see if I'm actually showing you guys what I want you to see or if you could actually see what I'm showing you. I don't know why every time I like try to put the mirror up, it kind of like doesn't, it's kind of upside down and that, okay, there we go. Okay, so she in. Number one, what did I get now? What did I say? All of this is basically inspired to me kind of um, in my mind and things that I need um, as of right now to help me kind of be organized um, in general. So, oh God, I hope I was like, I hope you guys were able to like hear me when I was talking and like see me. Oh man, anyways. So the first thing we have here is this wig kind of um, holder thing that I bought with a with a hanger. I really like it so far. I'm not gonna lie, I opened up the bag the other day when I was with um, when I picked it up from my mom's house. So I guess. Let me put this in and see how this would go, right? I guess I'll put this. Okay. It's a great size. I'm glad. I was worried that it was going to be a little bit small. That way I'll be kind of able to preserve my wigs. 
Um, I think that that is part of 101 of becoming um, one of the girls. You have to have your wigs kind of taken care of and stored properly and all that, um, your hair and the things. So that is what we have here. Hope you guys can hear me. My fan's going, but it gets really hot in here, so I kind of need it. So, hopefully that's okay with you. Anyways, um, yeah, I love this. And I will definitely be purchasing more. I just needed one at the moment because I just wanted to test it out. I love it. Alright, what next? <laughs> next, I got myself a bottle stopper. I got a bottle stopper. Because, like, I feel like I've been lately buying the small um, containers of wine because they, um, like, the individual kind of little, do I have one here? Like, today I went out and I bought a small little thing of the Proseccos and whatnot. The individual sizes. And the reason why is because, like, I didn't have a proper bottle stop and I felt like the big bottles were kind of wasting. Um, and also in my journey of just becoming a better girl, honey, um, I feel that I've noticed that I guess the lower quality brands are more of the individual sizes. Um, yeah. So, in my journey, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's really if that's how I should really be saying, but anyhow, I bought one of these little bottle stoppers here. It's called a wine vacuum stopper, and it says here the instructions are right there. I don't know if I could focus it so you could see. All right, it says insert the stopper fully and firmly into the bottle neck. Press the upper part for several times to pump the air out of the bottle, okay? And I don't know why that be happening, but my camera be shutting off sometimes. Is that normal? I don't know. Some of the girls, if you guys, I don't know if any of you guys are vloggers or are becoming vloggers or starting off like me. My camera, I don't know, I have the G7X and it's been a couple times now where it just stops recording. I don't understand why. I just did it. Anyways, um, so it says keep pumping it until the upper part bounds back less than one centimeter. Then it says rotate to record the preserving date. Okay. It is recommended to finish the wine in seven days. Rotate to preserve the date. Oh, I see. So this is the dates. So this has nothing to do with the pumping part. These are just the dates so I can know kind of how long this wine has been sitting there. Yay! Got myself a wine stopper so now I can buy like a real bottle of wine like a big girl. Hmm. Um, next, I got some more little custom jewelry. I'm really trying to get used to um, putting on my jewelry again. Listen, I used to be, to be honest with you guys, one of the girls like getting, buying the things every week, new outfit every week to step out, going out with the girls, seeing the boys, all of that. And then like one thing led to another in my 20s and I just stopped little by little and now it's like weird. I don't know. I don't know. I find myself like doing little, like, I don't know. I find myself, I don't know. <sighs> Just trying to get back to who I used to be. So anyways, I bought some costume jewelry, some little earrings. These are cute. I will do my best to link the things all in the description box so if any of you are interested in getting any of these quick little sets or whatever that i got um in my mind these are kind of like essentials basically um i'm doing like a lot of little essentials shopping um right now i think got some more simple cute 
Yeah. And then it also it's like a three pack bundle thing. You know, you're able to mix and match or whatever. And then these ones. Cute, regular, whatever. Okay, so I got those. I got some bonnets. I got another wig bag. Oh, I got a case for my phone. Oh, I'm so excited my case came in. I looked through some of these early, but I don't think I looked through everything. I'm excited. So I got this bonnet. It's like this brown color. Does it go in and out? Oh, it's like this, yes. One of the two-sided ones. This is cute. Okay, I only have one bonnet at the moment. Actually, do I have it out here? Oh no, I think I put it in the room. So now I have two bonnets. Great. And here's my third bonnet. I'm trying to keep things neutral and cute and everything, you know what I mean? Got another one, it's irreversible also. Reversible, is it irreversible or just reversible? I don't know, girl. So I got these two bonnets, which are cute. Um, I got this wig bag also, another wig bag. These are for a couple of bundles that I have just sitting around. Um, I don't have like a proper storage spot for them. This bag is a little bit smaller than I anticipated. But I think it's big enough though to hold the bundles. Okay. It's kind of small, but whatever. I guess. It'll work. The phone case. Oh, I'm excited about the phone case. I'm really excited about this part. Because I have been living dangerously. Courage, honey. She's been living dangerously without a phone cover, child. I do not recommend. Do not do that shit at home. So, I bought this purple cover. I like the material. It's cute. Oh, but the part that I was really excited about is this part. I wasn't expecting it to come separately, but I guess that's how they do it. And you're supposed to stick it on, and I guess this guy would be able to hold my phone up. And the reason why I bought it, I imagined that this would be good for me to, um, you know, hold my phone up when I'm like making videos for y'all and whatnot, right? So I try and take the plastic off, the little cover off. Okay, so I guess I just kind of centered as much as I can. I think I only get one shot. Okay, I did it. And I'm imagining that this is supposed, I'm supposed, yes, yes. This is what I wanted right here, this effect. And it does it, it holds my phone up. Oh, perfect, I'm so excited. And it's cute, it's purple. My color is really red, but sometimes not everything looks good in red, and I don't think they had a red one, so purple would be the next. I think the purple one's really cute. Oh, I'm so excited about this, actually, guys. The only thing is kind of hard to kind of grab, but once you get them down. Ah! Yay! I'm so excited about this. Yay. I finally got a good cover for my phone. And it actually protects the phone. And this thing was like, I think like less than 
why isn't everybody ordering everybody's ordering off for she and red i'm late right i hope i'm late everybody else is already like on to this um lastly oh no not lastly what else did i get two more one is a bunch of oh i got another set of earrings these might be some cute everyday kind of stud like earrings i'm really excited I think these were, they look pretty online. Oh, they're just as pretty in person. My hand's a little ashy. I have pen mark everywhere. But can you guys see that? Yes, my hand's a little dry. Oh, this is so cute. Can you see that? Yeah. Excuse my nails. I think I already told you guys the reason why I don't have my nails done is because like, like I said, I was in I'm in nursing school. And I just, um, in general, um, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't want any attention drawn to me. Unwanted attention. Which I got anyways. Um, but, you know, that's another conversation for another day. Eventually I'll be telling you guys about my experience that I've been having. Um, with the institution that I'm currently at school at. Anyhow, I bought some rings. Um, I think I already told you guys I have a way of kind of preserving my little costume jewelry. Oh, these are cute! Yay! I got some rings. Uh-oh, a little bit big, but I think that's okay. Oh, I think the size is supposed to vary. All right, so I got a whole bunch of rings. You can't really see them, but eventually I'll show you guys these rings. But I got a whole bunch of little rings or whatever. I'm excited. All right, last thing that I got is some home loungewear. Let me see. I got this shorts and crop top set. These little shorts here. Nice and stretchy. I got these in a large, right? Are these a large? These should be a large. No tag on there. Oh, an X large. Oh, good girl. I kind of, I kind of gained, I kind of gained a little bit of weight, but I don't want to talk about it too much, y'all. And I got this top here. One part of becoming one of the girls, we are going to lose this weight, okay? Even if it kills us, we're gonna lose this weight because the girls are not fat I shouldn't you know I shouldn't say that I want to lose weight for my personal purposes or whatever I should not be talking about who is fat and who is not I take that back I am sorry don't be upset with me I am not comfortable at where I am so I'm gonna lose some weight okay I just, I just take it back. I'm not going to cut this out. I'm not going to crop it. I take it back. That's not what I meant. I meant that I need to lose weight. Okay. And then I bought also the same thing, but in gray. And I expect that this would be fitting very well. They stretch well. I'm excited. I've been kind of, um, I really don't have much like home lounge wear or whatever. So I am glad I was able to get this little set um, from Shein, nice and cheap. So other than that, I don't know, what should we talk about? I am going to sit down and write a script for a video um about what's this video gonna be about about credit i feel like within my research like a lot of the girls that start off talking about finances the girls and guys that start off talking about finance or whatever one of the main things is credit and um my intentions for my credit this time around it has um went to shit essentially but that's okay we're gonna rebuild because i have done it before and it can be done again um, so this is also to motivate you guys that if your credit is also shit, you should be um, fixing it. And there are ways to do it. You shouldn't be too discouraged because it can be fixed. 
and you can move on from that and um, do great things like buy a house like I did and buy another house like I'm going to do and we're gonna do it together um so yes yeah, so I'm gonna write a script about um, credit repair and how I plan on repairing my credit um, and kind of also that ties into getting my finances in order and back in control um, and I encourage you guys to do the same um, what else yeah so I'm gonna I'm probably gonna sit down and try to plan my first couple of videos that have to do with finance and kind of getting that in order and everything um, and I will check in with you later I guess Okay, bye.